हाय एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू मेक प्रसाद फॉर अष्टमी सो वी विल बी मेकिंग चने पूरी एंड हलवा सोक द चनाज ओवरनाइट दीज आर वन कप चनाज आई हैव सोक दैम ओवरनाइट देन बॉयल दीज चनाज विद सॉल्ट आफ्टर वन विसल कीप द फ्लेम लो फॉर फाइव मिनट्स नाउ द चनाज आर प्रॉपरली डन Now heat a pan. Add one teaspoon oil in a pan. When the oil is hot, add jeera. Once it is roasted, add turmeric powder. Followed by coriander powder. Stir it till the spices are roasted. in the end add red chili powder after red chili powder add the boiled chanas with all the water give these a good stir we have already added salt when we boiled the chanas so uh, now the chanas are boiling and it will take uh, approximately 3 minutes to dry up these chanas Now the chanas are ready. Keep them aside while we prepare rest of the things. For suji halwa, I have taken half cup suji, four tablespoon ghee, nuts and sogi, then two cups of water and half cup of sugar, two cardamoms. Now boil this till the sugar dissolves and the aroma of cardamoms infused in water. Keep this aside. Now let us dry roast semolina. We will first dry roast semolina. When we dry roast semolina, the color of the semolina doesn't change when we make uh, halwa. So it will take four to five minutes to dry roast. So always roast semolina on a low flame. Now add four tablespoon ghee, stir it, and roast it for. Four to five minutes again on low flame. Always use low flame only. And stir it continuously. Otherwise, it will burn if we don't stir it continuously. After roasting it for approximately four to five minutes, then we will add nuts. I am using almonds and cashews. Now we will roast these nuts along with semolina again for three to four minutes. With this, our nuts will become crunchy and tastier too. In the end, we will be adding sogi or kishmish. Again, roast this for a minute. Now add water. and strain it through a strainer so that cardamom seeds remain in the strainer now give it a good stir then continuously stir it so that there is no lumps formation in semolina otherwise lumps are not formed if it's properly roasted continuously stir it till the oil releases on the sides or this leaves the sides of the pan now it has started leaving the sides of the pan our semolina or suji halwa is ready in this way your halwa will never change the color it will become a creamy halwa more tastier halwa you should try this recipe because it's very very tasty halwa now take 1 and 1/2 cup of atta whole wheat flour add 1 by 4 teaspoon of salt add 1 teaspoon oil and make a tight dough we don't need a soft dough here so it should be a not too tight but it shouldn't be a soft dough knead the dough with enough amount of water once the uh, dough is ready by using water now add 
rest of the oil and knead it once more very well now keep it covered for 20 minutes meanwhile heat the oil in a pan or kadai now make equal size of balls with this dough roll them properly now apply oil to the rolling base and the rolling pin now roll the puris and drop these puris in hot oil once it comes on the top press with the help of the spoon and your puri is ready